Hey there, um, Dennis Hilario here and listen, I know right now a lot of people and businesses are going through tough times. There's a lot of um, adversity out there and people are very emotional with the coronavirus pandemic. Businesses are going down and people are losing jobs. I'd like to contribute by giving you this free information on how you can future-proof your business with digital transformation but don't forget to hit like and subscribe button please and keep you up to date with my content about digital transformation and innovation i'd like to share with you a story first of uh, how i was able to survive my business over a decade ago by going online and digital i started my software business in 2001 with my uncle and brother in a small unit uh, in makati we did our first product uh, after a year, which is an online accounting system. But we have no idea yet on how to sell and market them. So basically, we started hustling our way to getting our first clients through traditional cold calls and offline networking. But unfortunately, we weren't able to get enough traction to survive. So long story short, my uncle and brother left and by 2007, I had to let go of all 25 employees and just by myself left to finish existing few projects. I was actually ready to hustle my way back and get it together. But how was the big question? That's when I started transforming the business online. I improved our website, studied SEO, and bought some Google Ads. Uh, Google Ads at the time were really cheap. At the same time as a backup, I initiated to create a website for our window blinds uh, family business. So just the same, I did some SEO and paid ads. Both websites started getting traction. We get several inquiries a day. And after a year, I changed my software business name to Hillsoft Inc. And it grew up to where we are now, while our window blinds business grew significantly as well, um, with three showroom locations, more product clients, and more distribution partners. For small businesses in the Philippines, a digital transformation is a process of adapting digital technology to make the business serve customers better make organizations more efficient and uh, promote ways to meet its objectives and drive profit growth. So the digital transformation does not have to be implemented all at once. It is a gradual process and ideally should be employed one aspect at a time. It is also a fact that you won't be able to make it in business these days if you don't have at least an email a computer, a phone, and MS Office apps such as Word and MS Excel. So while we can call them digital, but there are a lot more technologies, especially software that small businesses can adapt to reach their goals. There's a lot of concepts and technical terms if you look it up, but here is our most practical take in transforming your small business digitally, especially here in the Philippines. Okay, uh, step one, uh, start small, adapt fast, and then scale. So the common question is, where should I start? Um, it should start with the customer and it should end there. Um, there here are some list of technologies you can adapt uh, for your business now. Um, number one for marketing tools uh, the basics are website uh, and search engine optimization I think you have to have also a professional business email social media presence and or online uh, paid advertisements no? next is um, modules for sales applications such as customer relationship management or CRM, uh, we have some quotation software for services, manufacturing and distribution companies, e-commerce for retail distribution, um, point of sale for retail and restaurants, hotel management for hospitality industry, and some you know, digital loyalty programs. Uh, another module is for your HR department. So pretty much it's the HR 201 database or employee database, uh, timekeeping, and uh, payroll applications. So 
Um, now for operations, uh, we have some options like uh, for your sales order processing or purchasing management down to inventory management uh, slash barcoding systems. If you are a service company, there are help desk and uh, support software available. And uh, for manufacturing companies, we have like simple job order management uh, will do. For the back office and admin software, we have tools like accounting systems, procurement, uh, uh, inventory, and for admin like or IT, um, some technologies for your cybersecurity uh, is very important as well. No? For executives or business owners, um, I recommend having like business intelligence software reporting tools. No? So there's a lot of available products and vendors in the Philippines that offer the items that I mentioned. Uh, they also have like free versions or trial versions that you might want to try. Okay, so after that, step two is you have to commit. So as the owner of the small business, you will have to commit to being involved in the digital transformation 100%. If you can afford to delegate it, then you may but make sure that the person you'll hire whether it's internal or third party should have like vast experience and will take ownership one critical aspect in digital transformation is the culture change so the owner must promote a culture of innovation and might need to train or replace people who cannot adapt to this mindset um step three you have to concretize your business process Document your business process, policies, workflow, and key performance indicators or KPI. Again, if you can afford a consultant to hire, then you may. But CPAs and accountants are the ideal people or professionals who can do this for you. They offer business process reviews and will do a detailed business understanding of the business, identify gaps, and recommend the best business process for you. It is important to note that your business model might also be part of the digital transformation should you find it more efficient. You may realize that you know e-commerce will drive more sales than uh, brick and mortar stores, then you have to be open to it. It's no different with the taxi that has become Grab or Uber and video rental stores that have become Netflix. Step four, um, you have to define your accountability forms and reporting requirements. Accountability forms are forms that you use to run the business such as purchase orders, sales invoices, etc. Reports are the information that you'd like to see ideally on a real-time basis to analyze your business performance and decide immediately if there are problems or profit leaks. So here are some basic reports or information that you may want to see in real time. Um, like number of increase in qualified leads per day, per week or per month. Um, you may want to have like monthly or daily sales in volume and amount, um, budget versus actual uh, sales order to fulfill for the day, incoming purchases, outstanding AR and AP. Uh, cash position is also very important. Uh, profit and loss or PNL, um, balance sheet and uh, whatnot. Step five, you have to choose the right partner. So if you're a small business owner who's technology savvy, then implementing the items that I mentioned should not be a problem. Otherwise, it's critical that you choose a trusted, reliable, and experienced partner for this endeavor. You may opt to source it from different vendors depending on their expertise or hire an internal CTO or external technology consultant who can be able to provide most of it. So to wrap this up, uh, digital transformation is an infinite project since technologies keep on changing fast. So developing a good relationship with technology partners is vital to the success of this project. In the meantime, I'd like uh, for you guys to you know work with me uh, further in more depth and um, I'd like to provide you a free coaching session with me and my team. So please check out denisamilario.com slash digital transformation or click the link in the below description to sign up. So that's the message I have for you for the moment. I hope you guys benefited from it. Uh, to learn more about me, kindly check out the links in the below description. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.